hello 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 dreamers and welcome back to dream queen by perla as always guys uh, thank you for your love and support thank you for liking sharing subscribing to the channel and if you haven't done so i encourage you to do so it helps with growing the channel getting the video out there for more people as well as keeping me accountable for personal reading so that information can be found down below in the description so capricorn so this is your weekly reading and again guys general readings so only take whatever applies we have this energy of satisfaction in your energy something is finally mm, mm, something is finally there something is finally surfaced something has finally come to completion something is it's done um and you're satisfied you're in this energy of kind of like looking at of what it is that you've created what it is that, that you've brought to life um, what it is that you have manifested. <laughs> All right. Sorry, Cappy. Um, the reason why I'm laughing is because you're, some of you Capricorns are forcing yourself to, to take that moment to, to be satisfying, to enjoy the beauty and what it is that you've created, to enjoy where it is, um, how, how it is that something unfolded, how it is that something came to pass. But it's like in the back of your mind, you already have a list of like the, ten, the next 10 things that you want to do. So I feel that that is one of your biggest battles this week is staying in the present moment with the satisfaction energy and really allowing yourself to be grateful and really allowing yourself to integrate that energy um, into your life. Because again, it's like, um, the, it's almost kind of like you're always planning for the next, right? Um, I remember years ago I had been at, um, I was at a party and there was somebody that it was really like into uh, um, astrology and all of these other stuff and um the person goes up to me and he was like oh i can't read you and i'm like what do you mean and he's like I, what sign are you and i'm like oh i'm a capricorn and he and then he goes into like you know telling me all these things about capricorns and this and that and i'm like yeah and I'm like i'm having this conversation with him but at the same time that i'm conversing with him um I've already had like my entire layout of like the next two weeks of what I was going to be doing this and this and this and that. Like I had already planned out everything that I was going to, to put in my calendar for the next two weeks, but I was organizing in my head. And he goes to me, he was like, I bet you you're planning the next, the next week. And I was like, actually the next two weeks of my life. Um, and it, and it is what it is, but it's almost kind of like this automatic thing when it comes to Capricorn, where like, where they're either finishing something up, if you come to the end of it, it's like, there's a list already and it's like, okay, now we're going to start on this list. And it's like, you haven't even started on your next list and you're already making the next one. So you're always continuously thinking of ways to better yourself, whether that is, um, mentally, emotionally, spiritually, physically, um, financially, whatever it is, you know, a lot of people focus more on that financial aspect of it or believe that Capricorns focus more on that financial aspect, but you're, you're trying to better yourself in all aspects of your life. Um, the thing is that a lot of the times you guys don't share everything, but the finances, right? The, the financial aspect of it. So again, um, let's try this week they're they're showing me like you know like a kid like when you when you sit in a swing and you just kind of swing and you kind of just let your you don't have to be a kid because i swing in a swing as an adult um but what i'm saying is like when you're when you're swinging right you're 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 more embracing of like you know the the high and the low the breeze feeling the, the sensation everything that comes with it and you're not so worried about what it is that you're going to do when you get home right you're living in that moment so you're being asked to be in that moment, as everything that you've been working towards um, is, is manifesting right, be right before your eyes, it's like, be in that moment and don't allow yourself to be robbed of it. Um, so let's go ahead and let's pull out a few tarot. Oh, I, I haven't really used this deck that much. This is like a, I don't know what it's called. I have the box, but it's like a doggy. You can see all the doggy bones. Um, <laughs> So they're all dogs. Um, I, didn't, I, I don't know. I was led to use this deck for some reason. I haven't really used it. These are more decks that I use. I have a couple of ones that I use mainly during like Halloween and stuff like that. So 
this is quite interesting we have the three of wands in the reverse with the four of swords in the reverse and then the two of um the two of swords in the reverse so all of your cards came out in the reverse so the, there is definitely a sense here of like hey it is awesome and it's wonderful that you have all these goals and you have all these to-do lists and things like that but but can we celebrate this a little Kathy? can we can we celebrate it can can we just embrace right this is kind of like that reminder of, of reminding yourself to always be grateful for where it is that you are for always be grateful for how far you have actually come right and and yes it is okay to set the next goal it's okay to set the next milestone but don't let life be just about the next the next thing the next thing the next thing because then you're always chasing something and you never really allow yourself the opportunity to enjoy it when it finally arrives all righty so let's go ahead and let's pull out a love energy card now the love energy can be any type of relationship romantic platonic self spirituality and the um what was I going to say? Hobby or career. We have self-indulgent. Focus on self, self-worth, time to heal, shadow work, and self-appreciation. Um, th this self-appreciation energy is really what's calling me to you guys. Um, a lot of you, as you learn to appreciate how far you've come and where it is that you are at, you're also healing and doing some shadow work. Maybe you, you felt, um, or maybe you were told that in order to be worth something, in order to to be something, to be someone. You had to do all of these things or you had to have all of these things and you had to look a certain way and you had to talk a certain way and you had to, all of this other stuff. And it's like, finally, you're just like, it's okay. It's okay to be who I am. It is okay to be where I'm at and it is okay to celebrate that. It is okay to celebrate your growth. It is okay to celebrate yourself. And it is okay to accept yourself and to know your worth at every single stage of this journey. So let's go ahead and have the horns and let's pull out. <clears throat> and yes, guys, I am a fellow Capricorn. Um, let's pull out a closing message for you guys. Alrighty. Whew, excuse me, guys. The flower, number 17. Um, be honest with yourself. Be honest with yourself. What is it? And this is coming. What is it that does not allow you to celebrate the little my milestones? Is this something, again, that you were told as a child or um is this a conditioning of society or something that you have to look a certain way or you have to have all of these things to feel a certain way right um and again when you're able to be honest with yourself then your entire perception and your, your entire viewpoint in regards to that situation in your life changes and that's what a lot of you have to do it's like be honest with yourself right um I, I am a big person when it comes to being per like perf I'm, people say some people would say that I'm a perfectionist. I like things to be perfect. Um, and what I've learned um, in my path by right, in my journey and even recording these videos, they're not always going to be perfect, but I'm not going to sit here and record myself a hundred times to get everything perfect because in one of those a hundred times, there's always something that's going to be off. There's always something that I'm going to want to fix. And the way that the messages come out, whether that's my facial expression, my hands, whatever it is, is the way that they're meant to come out. And if I focus so much on trying to look a certain way or I'm trying to be this perfect person in front of the camera, then the message that I have for you guys gets lost. Right. And that's kind of like the way that you have to you have to look at things. Right. Sometimes when you're trying so hard and, and that that does not mean that you don't try to do your best or that you don't try 100 percent or that you don't give 100 percent. It is allowing yourself to 
to accept the fact that we are humans and sometimes not everything is going to come out exactly the way that you have planned it and that's kind of like where you have to um kind of look at it this way um capricorns like be honest with yourself you know what this is who I am today. This is what's going on. And I am grateful that I am this far. I am grateful I overcame that. I am grateful I healed that. I am grateful that I'm aware that this needs work or whatever it is. Accept it, embrace it, and move forward. Well, guys, that is all that I have. Sending every single one of you love, strength, and blessing, guys. Take care. Love you all. Bye-bye.